Jeffrey, you are one of the big stars at Paris Photo, one of the very famous gallery dedicated to photography. So why after all to dedicate yourself to photography? Because you are also showing, for, ex for example, uh, conceptual photography. Photography is a big, it's a big, it's a big bowl of soup and it, it can accommodate many different approaches. The whole medium is only 175 years old and there's so many, so many different ways of approaching it. When the gallery opened 43 years ago, photography was sort of simpler. Everybody knew what a photographer was. The last 28 years, it's completely changed. If you look at people, if you're interested in what's happening now and you look at artists like Christian Markley, Carrie Mae Weems, Sugimoto, um, Sophie Cal. They're, they're all photographers, but very few are specifically photographers. Their work encompasses much beyond photography, and many of them work in other media. Sugimoto is an architect now, as well as uh, a sculptor. Yes. So, Photography has become wonderfully, I would say deliciously complex. Mm -hmm. If one is interested in, in paying attention to what's happening now, photography is going to be a part of what you see. But why not to show painting after all? It's too, too, too easy in a way. There's too <laughs> many galleries, everybody does that. But we started in 79 really concentrating on photographs. And it's been, it's something I know a lot about and something I love. And it's been a convenient, what's the word? Sort of um, centerpiece for our program. But we want to be able to accommodate other things too. So let's speak about one of your artists on the booth, mm -hmm. Karim May Wims. Oui, Karim May Wims. Mm -hmm. So could you speak about her work? Yes, she is, she is not a new artist. This is, she's been working since the 1970s, making great work. Um, everybody has known for a long time that she's great, but she has not really gotten the attention that she deserves. And I saw a show not long ago, actually the De Young Museum in San Francisco acquired a video piece. I didn't know they had it. I walked into the museum, I saw it. I wasn't in a, it, I didn't have time to stay, but I sat, I couldn't pull myself away from it. And I came out of there thinking, this is a very important artist. And um, I called my colleague, Jack Shaneman, who's worked with Carrie for a long time. And, We talked about doing something in San Francisco, and the timing is, was good, let's say. <laughs> hey Not for the sound. <laughs> wow. This is installation in person happening. <laughs> so, yeah. but uh, why, is he, why is she interesting? Just look at the work. Um, that sort of gives you the answer. She, she is, the work is never predictable. She, she doesn't repeat something that's successful. She goes on to something new. Um, I think a real answer to your question will be seen in three weeks in New York when she, she's been invited to take over the Park Avenue Armory. Ah. Her work will fill the Park Avenue Armory, but a core of the exhibition will be she's a convener she's invited her friends fellow artists dancers poets singers you you will recognize the names of many of them and they will all be taking part in her exhibition okay. it'll be a week weekend long of performances and things that's who she is her work is very inclusive but um yes merci good